Hello everybody, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC with me Biffa. We are on Operation Heat the Base at the moment. We are freezing. Um, ah, just before I press record, seven dupes had hypothermia, which might have been to do with the fact I've had them up here digging and getting into space and all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, this surrounding ice biome is huge. It starts at the top. It goes all the way around the side, and it's around the bottom. It's basically around three sides of the base, which is just nuts. Um, so I'm getting as a priority all of these insulated tiles all around here. Um, I want all of this on a nine. Yeah, we've got nines going to get this stuff done. They're putting them all along here as well. The abyssalite is right there, so I'm sort of putting them right up to the abyssalite. Uh, we're going to close this off, open all this out, get the heater going in the base a bit more. We, we're really working on it all. That is the plan um, to get things sorted. Here we go. They're going to start going up here now, which is good. Let's speed that up. Um, and then also, thank you for the 42,000 people that told me I've been a complete numbskull. And I've been converting my polluted water that has lots of food poisoning germs into clean water, into my food, into my plant. It's everywhere. But, I mean, I've got to be honest, it's not the end of the world. I'm not overly concerned because it's not affecting them. Someone's going to get sick at some point with it, but it's not the worst. So, for now, for me, the heat is the biggest thing. So, that's what we're going to work on. Um, smart home research complete. Yes, motion sensor signal switch, automation this, automation that. I'm not going to do any research for a sec. I'm just going to... Yep, we've got the wires, we've got the bridge, we've got the signal switch, motion sensor. Excellent, that's some good things. I just want them to finish building all of this stuff. Uh, that's not going to give way, that'll be fine. So over here, we're going to have to sort of dig out a layer as well. Just to make this room bigger. Because I want to get rid of this ladder, get rid of this wall, open this up. I normally have four spaces. One, two, three, four. But this has ended up being three. Whatever. I'm not overly concerned about that. Oh, thank you. There we go. <laughs> You've dug your way through. Well done. So we'll expand that. Uh, power's going okay. Oh, apart from these flipping wires that keep breaking. And I'm wondering why people aren't fixing them. I need to just do a quick bit of research on that. Yeah, I think it's just down to a priority. When it breaks, it automatically goes to a 5. I'm going to stick it on a 9, and I hope someone's going to come and fix that. But yeah, my wire system needs working on as well. We do have transformers. Yeah, so we could split this up and do some transformers. But in a minute, I'm just really concentrating on getting all of this done. So are they both on a 9? Yeah. So once we've sort of blocked off the heat, we've got to come down here because, look, there's no abyssalite all along here. And this is a whole freezing biome, which is just coming up this way. There's the abyssalite. There it is, right there. Uh, so this is annoying. So I'm going to have to probably try and do... I want the insulated tile. Some sort of thing up and around here that's like this that doesn't open up this area I mean it just seems oh, unnecessarily annoying but I think that's what we're going to have to do and somehow we're going to have to get dupes in there to do it because look we've got all this going on I mean we could use this as an opportunity to dig out this water area a bit bigger so if we sort of came along here instead and went down there we could dig this out and then they'll replace these on the way I want to sort of keep a block away from there. We'll probably come down here as well. I want this to be bigger. This can sort of take up more room because they are going to be cramped once these eggs hatch. And we've got some eggs that need hatching. So, yeah. Let's do that. I think that's what we're going to have to do. So, if I... I want to get that. Press build. Get that down to there. Get that on a 9. And get these on an 8. I think... We should be okay, and I hope nobody's going to get themselves stuck down there. So let's do that and work along here. And then once we get connected to that, this is all not warm enough, and then round here is okay. So that is possibly going to be all right. Uh, how are we doing up here? 37,000 odd food. We're doing all right. Uh, is that another broken wire? Oh, that one's been fixed over this side. 
So that's good. So we just stick him on a nine for now. And then I'll look at my wire problems when I get a chance. Oh, it just means that these are outputting the max power. Which just means it doesn't get up to here because of my wire problem. Yeah, I just don't have the brain for that for a second. So let's see how they get on with this. I mean, the other thought I had is could we just all send all the dupes over to here <laughs> instead? Just to come and live on this planet. Um, but we are going to get some rockets over here. And, uh, oh, genomic sensors. What do we get? Wait, play. Okay, we'll have a look down here. We'll have to go back over to Uzilla. We've got some more sensors. We've got the cycle sensor, the timer sensor, the gas element sensor, the liquid element sensor. The gas one will be very handy. Uh, the weight plate and the knot gate. The gas element sensor... Uh, I wanted to put up here, didn't I? Because this is just, yeah. We're getting some power. Where am I looking for on here? Yeah, like that. But I only wanted it when there was a certain amount of hydrogen. But actually, it's only little bits coming through at the moment anyway. And I'm hoping that's all going down to our power system and isn't broken anywhere. Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, these guys, yeah. How are we doing? Oh, they're doing okay. They've got all of this going down here. Excellent. What is going on? A Paku flopping about. A wild and hungry Paku. Is he going to find his way to the water? He's trying. He thinks he can get through down here. I mean, if we dig that out, he probably could. <laughs> we'll, we'll dig that out for him. But yeah, anyway, what I was going to say was... Oh, let's, let's make sure our power is going to where it should be going. Into the batteries. Yes. The wires aren't breaking. Excellent, excellent, excellent. A printing pod. What have we got? Ice. No, thank you. Um, With the amount of food that we've got and air that we're doing okay with, I reckon we could have another dupe. Why the heck not? Let's have a look. Science research in husbandry. Piloting. We need somebody. Decrease husbandry. Increase germ resistance. Banny, you are going to come and join us. And I am going to name you Amy Rock. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon, Amy Rock. Come and join us. Uh, you know you want to. You know you're going to need a bed as well. Oh, we've got a spare bed. There we go. That is going to be Amy Rock's bed. Amy Rock. You already have yourself a cot. You must have. It looks like you have already. That is fantastic. We are absolutely planning ahead and we're doing fantastically. Right, let them carry on with all of this. Hey, the Paku's going to make it through. There he goes. He's joined his friends. Did he die when he hit the bottom? I heard like a squelch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, things are going well. We're getting more organized down here. All of this now is insulated all the way around, all the way down here with this section next. And then that should hopefully help. Um, I'm just a bit worried about this getting this wrong and flooding this place. So I've just sort of changed this a little bit. Um, how can I get in there without... I really want to get rid of all of that. Just so I can open this up a bit. Um, yeah, I don't want to do those tiles. <laughs> we'll, we'll maybe come back to that bit. But overall... I don't know if it's just me, but the heat seems to be going this way a bit. And I mean, these batteries, we could just move them all to like over here to have their heat. But at the minute, they're providing heat in the middle of the base. So, you know, you can't win either way, whatever you do. <laughs> People are going to say you're wrong. I see your comments. I see your comments. Okay, we're going to get rid of all of that. So let's just dig some other stuff out here. And I want to fill this in. So I've gone through my priorities of what people do as well. And... Hopefully, I've got most things set sort of right now. So, they will... Let's copy the settings there. Most stuff is getting done. Ugh. Apart from power issues, what's actually breaking here? Uh, is it the battery? The wire? Oh, yeah, it's the wire. Okay. So, as I'm spotting them, I'm hopefully fixing them before they totally break. So, that's, that's the heat sort of taken care of at the moment. Now, I'm going to put that on an 8 just to try and close that off. We'll come back to this a little bit down here. But what I would like to build next is uh, a telescope. So we can have a look around and see what we've got. Although this is probably going to use a ton of flipping power. 120 watts of power. 
I'll tell you what, we need to sort our power out first. Let me just put some thought into that. Okay, I've just paused a second. What I'm thinking of doing is actually these let off a reasonable amount of heat. A thousand DTUs. Um, we've got conductive wire, which isn't too expensive. Two kilowatts. So if I run my conductive wire up the side here, put my power transformers, and then just split these into a couple of circuits, I mean, we can probably separate this one and everything up there and put a power transformer here and another one down here. I mean, what is the overall capacity? Current load 720, potential 3,860. So putting my brain into gear, these would do a um, 1,000 each. So we're going to need nearly four of those. So that's fine. I can pop like four of those in this area here and split our circuits up. Maybe one there and three up there. That is going to be the plan. And apparently that takes a lot of refined metal. So <laughs> let's make some more refined metal. Yeah, this is where I'm going to put my power transformers. I'll put them level with the other floor here. We've got one there, one there, one there. Probably don't need to put them on an eight. They're doing them anyway. Uh, this triage cot and everything's going to move but nobody's getting ill at the minute so i'm not worried about that we'll, we'll move that around and basically we're just sort of waiting on more uh, refined metal so hopefully you can keep bashing away at that i'm wondering whether we could just do with another rock crush oh it's power isn't it that's the problem yeah okay it's going to be a little slow a slow process but we will get there see look wires are getting damaged all over the place the sooner we can get this done uh, the better. Okay, new blueprint. Yeah, the last slicks of the lava just didn't go well. I'm going to take our dirt. We could really do with some of that. So I'm going to grab that. I'm also going to disconnect that wire there. So that's going to remove all of this power up here and up here, which we don't really need the tepidizer. And we don't need all of that up there, to be honest. So we'll get rid of all of that. Uh, food's dropping a little bit, but it's fine. And then hopefully that will help us out. Yeah, the heat is radiating a little bit more, which is fantastic. Well, I'll keep going with this, and as soon as I've got somewhere with it, I'll get back to you. We've actually got a reasonable amount of coal here, so I'm just thinking of whacking in a coal generator. It's going to produce carbon dioxide, doesn't need anything else, just to try and keep our power situation uh, going. We've got carbon dioxide down here anyway. And we could just do with the heat. So I think I'm going to do that. Let's get that thing going. And hopefully I've got enough enough wires to plug it into what I need to get it plugged into. We should be okay. Let's just pop that on an 8. Notice how I've gone down from using 9s for everything to I'm now using 8s for everything. So I am more balanced in my usage of uh, <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Things are getting better. Honestly. Oh, conductive wire. Yes, please. So we'll have that into there. That into there. Oh, we've got one more wire. Hooray! <laughs> so let's just plug this coal generator into there. And we'll just... Uh, yeah. We just need to keep the power going so we can keep our rock crusher going so we can build the other wire. We will get there. We will get there. You didn't see that? I didn't just put some nines in there. It's not downtime yet, is it? I want to get the... Oh. I want to get this done. We'll do a yellow alert for that. Come on. Get that done. Get that one done. Then you can go and rest. Yellow alert is over. This one here. No. Yellow alert. Come on. It's not a big job. And I'm going to put that on eight to be... Uh, really? Yellow alert doesn't wake you up. What? Well, that's annoying, isn't it? No one's going to come and do that. I'll, all right. I'll... Turn the yellow alert on. <laughs> Don't know why Lyra slept down here. They've all got beds. Right, okay. So now we just need the coal to be delivered. We should just keep things powered up enough. Yeah, there we go. And probably break some more wires as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I was just thinking here, they... They produce, was it 1,600 each, which is well over what these wires do. But it never seems to break. So I'm just thinking of, oh, I've run out of stuff. Of just connecting my conductive wire to this. Then I'll disconnect it here. Then I'll split these into circuits and connect them over here. That is the, that is the, uh, that is the plan. So I'm just going to run some of these wires. I'm just going to go straight across into the door and then out like that. 
Uh, I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> gonna do the same there, and then we can sort of decide where they're gonna go after that, and whether we need all of them. We'll have that one come out there, and at least they're all ready to go. Um, that I'm gonna get hooked in a bit differently. We'll see about that one. But we're almost there. We oh, here we go. A last couple of pieces of conductive wire. Yes, I'm gonna connect that like that, and then I think. We'll be okay. The only thing then is to sort of think about what the batteries are going to do. And we might just need to have a battery. We've got one, two, three, four, six, nine batteries. And they're filling them up. Look, when they're happy, they are filling those batteries up. So I'm just wondering whether we could start. I'm actually going to move the batteries over here anyway. Let's just remove some of this stuff here make some space. Look at that. I can put things on seven. And they'll come and do it straight away. It, that's absolutely brilliant. Apart from with my coal. It's got coal. 2,400 kilograms. Not the most amount of coal ever. I don't think we've got a huge amount of coal on this map. There's some there. Unless I'm sort of missing it. There's a few little spots here and there. Is this coal? No, that's mafic rock. Uh, any coal up here we can easily grab. Metal, mafic rock. Nothing on the surface. Abyssalite. Nah. But there's the other one. Trevino. If I remember correctly. What's oh, iron? Yeah. A lot more coal over there. But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Okay. There we go. Right. Let me just carry on with what I'm doing over here. Okay. Another blueprint. I think I was going to take the care package. The curative tablet. That'll work for now. Thank you very much. I'm putting some batteries over here. Uh, there's only six there at the moment. I might put another transformer here, actually, and put the batteries here and move that one out of the way. Yeah, let's do... No, no, actually, that's fine. We'll leave that as our massage room. <laughs> it's like one massage table, not looking very nice over there. I think, actually, let's just uh, run this on slow a minute. I think that is everything. They're hooked up, so they're going out. Okay, so let's just split. What I don't want to do is waste power, because two, four, six batteries... Is might not necessarily enough for all the stuff. So let me just look at all the cables we've got and try and work out a good way of getting this going. Okay, I've got a wire plan in place. I've separated the circuits out, disconnected them. I think we've got overkill on these. Probably three would have been okay. Um, but hopefully this will all work. Oh, we need to disconnect this here somewhere. So let's disconnect that wire. So then the power's going this way, through the transformers and out through everything else. I don't think we're going to get it all done before they have to sleep. Or well, maybe we are, actually. Yeah, this is looking okay. So this one here, this circuit, has got a potential load of 480 out of 1,000. We've got plenty of room for growth on there. And that goes all the way up, takes in this stuff, whatever else we want to put on the surface. This one here, potential load of 790. So that's everything on here. And it also includes all of these batteries. Uh, the top half of these batteries at the moment. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this load here, 370. So that's this line. That's these batteries and these couple of things here. So that's plenty of space on there if we want to expand over this way. And then this transformer is this line. So these bits and pieces and this pump. And that's got a potential load of 840. Why is that so big? I feel like maybe we're connecting 240, 120, 60, 120, 60, 120, 240. 840. Yeah, that seems about right. So that should be okay now. So the next... Uh, there we go. The batteries are filling up. So let's just see what these guys are doing. 1,600 each. So that's going out. Filling those batteries. Filling those batteries. Oh, is it going to do these first before it gets up here? But those ones are connected to those as well. So, Oh, yeah, it's going through there. Filling these. Okay, that's fine. This line isn't getting... It's batteries filled. That's the downside. I might disconnect this and join that to that line so that I get these batteries. So then each line has got batteries apart from this line, which has got these batteries which are getting filled first anyway. Yep, that's a plan. I'm going to do that. Oh, we've got an advancement. Let's have a look what we've got. 
Something to do with power. They got better. Cure a sick duplicate of disease. Oh, that is fantastic. Spokidoki. Okay. So I think we've got that finally sorted. I just rearranged a couple of these. This one is showing no power because I've changed things around a bit. But yeah, this one here has got a potential load of 900 now. This one's got 790. And this one has got 370. And that one's got 840. Um, I might just, I don't know, the uh, batteries are filling up. This one's got access to these batteries. This one's got access to these batteries. This one doesn't seem to fill up. But I think we've got probably too many batteries on the go here. So I'm just going to deconstruct a couple of those. Now we've got it. Uh, actually, what I might just do is just remove. Can I just disable the building? Yeah, okay, that's better. We'll just disable those two batteries. Because you don't need those two on there. Thank you very much. And these are actually filled up because there's not much going on on here at the moment. So hopefully the next nighttime cycle will get these ones going. Um, yeah. And that'll be good. And we start, yeah, working, filling up those. So that, I'm pleased with that. That's good. Oh, we do have a little baby one in here now. Groomed. And another couple of eggs. So we can definitely make this a bit bigger as we get there. And overall... We seem to be getting a little bit more heat. Nobody's got hypothermia. So that is fantastic. These will definitely heat things up. Good. Um, we could do with like tidying up some of the rooms and making some nice things. So why don't we just have a quick look at that. Um, where do I want to look? Refinement. No. Base. No. Hang on. Furniture. That's what I was looking for. But actually while we're watching this. I want to see if this one here is going to get filled up. Oh, they're not doing it yet. Oh, now they are. 12, 1600. So I think still it's doing it in order. It's like getting those first. Then it's going to get these are going up. And then these ones are just not getting any power. Which is slightly annoying. <laughs> so I'm going to disable maybe another, yeah, a couple of batteries. And try and balance it out a bit. So with all of this going on, what I would like to do is add a telescope up here. Now we've got our power sorted. Now it's my understanding it doesn't necessarily... Oh, it's disappeared. It does that sometimes. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the surface because someone's going to have to come and sit in here and do some work. Um, they are going to need some oxygen. So actually over here might be okay. We could sort of close this off and maybe pop it here. Let's just see what's above that. So, Mafic Rock, Igneous Rock, Mafic Rock, Igneous Rock. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. We'll just block off, say, this over here. So, that will all start filling up. And then we'll just open this bit up. So, they can jump across on a ladder and get up to here. Um, what is that saying? I'm each will dig in Valley Build Location. I'm each will dig. Well, it won't be in a minute. You'll all be over here doing all of the stuff. And building all of this. And then we need some power to get up to that as well. So that can literally just come across like that. And I'm hoping that'll be okay. And then we can turn this back on just to get a little bit of oxygen up here. And then once this power line down here has been sorted. Yeah. That will work a lot better. We just need to wait for another cycle to go past. We'll get there. We'll get there. It is of course very cold up here. Uh, minus 68. <laughs> So I might just put a little heater here because I think someone's going to have to sit there and like do work and things. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put, put a little heater in here, keep them warm, hopefully. Yeah, the fact this says invalid building location, I think they might have fixed that, that we do need to see it out onto the surface, which is a real shame. Um... Um, I'm just wondering whether there's something we could do with glass. There's like a window or something like that. Vertical win window tile. Whether you could do with that. Yes. That would be good. We've got to work. Oops. We've got to work our way through a lot of luxuries here. Textiles, home luxuries and glass blowing. But that could be fantastic. If we could just block that off with some glass in there. That would be good. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll disable that building at the moment. We don't want to start using power. We don't need to. Um, yeah, we'll leave that going. Oh, blueprints. Uh, it's good. Oh, tier three skill, mechatronics. That would be fantastic. Farts a lot. Nah, I have to say no. We're going to take the dirt. 
Thank you very much. Uh, we could always do with more dirt. Hey, we've got one, two, three, four babies in here now. So they might be complaining about being cramped. Um, overcrowded once, all nearby eggs hatch. So I think we're okay at the moment. But it's getting there. Um, I'm not quite sure what sort of size they need. I might just sort of dig out like a little bit of this down here. And then we can always put some wire there, can't we, for them to sleep on if they want to. Um, because they like that, don't they? We could just run just run that down there like that. And if they slept on those two bits, that would work fine. Yeah, let's do that. Still cramped. I don't know what size they need. But anyway, this is like the worst place for them to live. It just looks terrible. <laughs> but we've got things on our minds. Right, hopefully, I've now disabled all the batteries, these extra ones here. So what I'm hoping to see is these ones here will start filling up. 1,600. Is that it? Oh, he's sleeping there, but there's no blimmin... Ah! Typical. Absolutely typical. Well, yeah, maybe soon. <laughs> that was it. I think I got distracted. We could put some crown moulding or some corner moulding in. Uh, what are these made out of? They can be made out of anything we've got. Fossils. They can be made out of sedimentary rock. All sorts of things. Uh, which ones have decor plus 20? So we could make them out of whatever that is. Granite. That would be fantastic. I'm going to pop some corner moulding and stuff around my base. Yeah, I'm finally going to deconstruct this door that's been there for I don't know how long. I'm going around sort of tidying up some bits and pieces. We've got the crown moulding going in. The corner pieces as well, just to really improve the decor. Let's have a look. Yeah, that really helps. This is a nice spot. Got lots more decor in there. Some more decor going on in there. Any other? Oh, look at these. Look, lots of nice green. I mean, our stress level is very low anyway. But that's fantastic. So what else have we got? Research. Let's look at it this way. Uh, carpeted tile. Ooh. What do we need for that? Fiber. Okay, we haven't got anywhere near any fiber yet. And a textile loom to make clothing, which of course will need fiber. Um, if we just jump over to Trevino, do we have fiber growing over here that we have seen? Waterweed, pinch of pepper nut. Not that jumps out at me. If I miss it and you see it, spore kids. Ooh, zombie spores. Oh, wow. I don't... I've heard of them. I've never actually played with them. Uh, molten lava egg. There's some meat going on down here. What is this? A molten lava and a slickster. I've not seen these red ones before. Hatch from molten lava egg. Diet carbon dioxide. Excretes petroleum. Wow. That is fantastic. Yeah, I don't, this is all dying. This is. I don't think there's any over here. I really want to find another better planet. This one I don't like so much. This coming and going thing is going to... It's like by all the heat and... Yeah. We, we will find out once we get there. How's it all going? It's all going nicely. Nearly 100,000 kcals of food. No stress. No sickness. Uh, the only thing I'm not too pleased about at the minute is my power. Ah, oh, look. The heat is now spreading out more this way. That is brilliant. More crown moulding going in. Well done, dupes. Fantastic. I'm still getting overloading on wires, which is really weird. I don't know why. Uh, that wire could do with going. Yeah, I don't know why. It's very odd. But anyway, yeah, I'm still trying to balance to get these filled up. I've turned off some batteries here. So next cycle at night... We might have that done. We shall see. Yeah, I think our electricity needs... We're going to have to work on those. One of our pug slugs has died. We've only got the baby ones. And he's a bit glum, so we're not getting much power. So I think it's back to coal and manual power for a while. But we'll see what we can work on. But I'm really pleased with what we've managed to get done today. Uh, where's my decor button? Yeah, look at that. Decor is well up. Nobody's getting stressed or sick in my base. That is fantastic. And we're working our way towards the glass. So hopefully next episode, we will take a look at that. Thank you again for all of your help. I do read all of your comments. I reply to as many as I can. The assistance you're giving me is fantastic. I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.